Okay. Back to our son. <sighs> so much fun stuff to do. All the crispy fried children. If I keep saying that, I'm going to be put on a watch list or some shit. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, we're gonna watch this insanity again since I'm having to reload, but that's okay. That's alright. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nobody complaining. Just complaining. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is... 650 North Hobart. <laughs> so Canary says he'll sing. An Englishman in I am so glad that they have all these exit signs or I would never find my way out of this place. Even with the exit signs, I'm having a hard time finding my way out. <clears throat> Man, I'm the worst. So used to double doors. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Oh. Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. I had a new house in fact, a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this week. Developers gonna have some very angry customers. Damn. Shame about chat. You have some destiny. You might nail that something which is weird. He's still in custody, Earth. Wanna bet? Bella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Damn. That's rough. <laughs> I just I love that cold. Cole's becoming less and less of a robot as the story progresses, and I love it, but... <laughs> are we having a conversation? Fuck it. Man, Biggs is great. He's, he's opening up to me, I love it. He's, he's like, he's like a little shelter puppy. And, and like, like, he's scared of you. Right now. But then he will become a very loyal best friend and follow me to the ends of the earth. That's how, that's how things, yeah. I, I just, I really like Biggs. He's an old soul. Very gay thing of me to say, but still, you know what I'm saying. I don't care for this car. I feel like it's actually slower than the last car. <laughs> Look who's back. Back again. Suburban's back. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stuff. Arrest stocks. them. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. It doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damages post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What are they doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. 
muscles and tendons contract. Not to sound morbid, but that's pretty freaking neat. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs? No, I have not. Show some respect. Fucked up thing to say, call it really is. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. Right. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Gross. Evidence! Albert. Check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating Biggs. Poor Biggs. He just ran out like a kid arguing with his parents. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys, on fire, screaming for a way out. We are not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? Damn, Biggs. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work the name and see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. <laughs> First, we're gonna look for more evidence. Looks like the same model. Reginald Varley. Varley is all over the place on these things. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Damn. That's rough. Hello. Housing development burns. Ex-serviceman irate as GI houses raised. How did you get my number, Ira? At first I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. Shit. So... Putting two and two together, obviously, the guy he was talking to on the, on the phone is the culprit. I mean, that's no 
That's no surprise at all. That's not even spoilers. Like, if you have half a brain cell, I'm sure you're figuring that out. Um, so the name of our guy is Ira. Allegedly, if that's his real name. And I guess um, he, he has experienced some sort of trauma in his past. Uh, that the only way he can cope with it is by burning down houses. And all this time he's been making sure to burn down houses with no one in them. And now he's, he's taking a different direction with that information, which is getting out of hand. The doctor you thought he could like a have a hold on it, but clearly doesn't. So. Um. We'll just see how that, how that goes. Like I said, not spoiling anything. All the evidence is there to suggest what I'm saying. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Hmm. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, been... we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Those aren't your cigarettes out there, bud? You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Hmm. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Yeah, you were, dude. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Hmm. Pest exterminator, you say? You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Yeah, you do. You just mentioned it. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. That stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away to Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. Though. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, yeah, Cole? Yeah, we're max right Couple now. of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For building a better California. For Elysian Fields developments. God, that guy looks like a fucking shithead. Oh, 
Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Oof. Catalina Island. Sounds like fun. All right. We'll be back. Goodbye. Okay,